Hey son, did you enjoy that old Marlon Brando movie that you, your father, and I watched tonight? I did, Mum. I especially liked the part where he shouted, Hey, Stella! Me too. When I was in the fourth grade, we had a pizza party and they showed us that movie in our English class. I fell in love with it. Man, Tennessee Williams is such a genius. I can't believe that movie has lasted throughout many a generation. By the way, all the girls in our class, including myself, did have a crush on Marlon Brando's character, Stan Kowalski, even though Marlon Brando is dead and gone now. I Damn it, Deke. You're lucky I didn't have Mexican food this time. I would have destroyed my pajamas and made you messy again. That reminds me. I owe you a little payback from when you did that to me the last time. Now, brace yourself. I'm about to give you the biggest scare of your lifetime. Oh no you don't, you crazy creepy logo. I'm not gonna let you turn me into a poofy puking mess. I am out of here. You hear me? Out 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 out. Well. That ain't the first time. I scared someone out of their own home. He still <laughs> I mean, hey Andrew. I scared him so bad, that he took off and ran, like a bat out of hell. What do you suppose is eating the kid? I don't know. But my question is, what do you suppose he's been eating? That kid must think he's Joey Jaws Chestnut or something. Oh well. I guess I'd better go scare, the neighborhood Karen now. Remind me to put Andrew on a diet when he gets home. Don't be nervous, don't be rocky, you're a teenage guest is jockey now. Finally, I'm able to get away from that scary deke logo and have some peace and quiet for once. I think I will sleep in that street car over there tonight. Maybe. He won't find me in there. And that's the end.